Hi, Johan Valdelius from Yukogawa Measurement Technologies again. Now we're going to examine how well the DL850 measures power. So for that we have connected the uh, high precision current shunt from uh, Hitech. It's rated to up to 500 amp, but we're measuring smaller currents, but it's still accurate, but it's much more accurate, in, of course, in, in, in the full range. Anyway, it's accurate enough. It's one of the best you could get. Uh, it's connect it, we're also measuring the same current through these, uh, the high-precision current chunk of the Yokogawa power meter at the bottom. At the top, we have the Yokogawa scope corner. The scope corner is a combination of a recorder and an oscilloscope. You have 15 different com combination of modules uh, all the way up to 100 mega samples with 1000 volts isolation but now we're measuring with a, uh, another module, it's a 16-bit module. We're measuring the voltage with this uh, 100 to 1 probe and that's connected here to this breakout box. Uh, so we're measuring the voltage, the same voltage goes into the uh, power meter the same current is going through the high precision shunt and through this uh, high precision current sensor. And uh, since this is broadcasting, we've I've already done a sample here. So we did this at the same time. We're measuring 20, uh, no, 10 seconds uh, here with the voltage through the 100 to 1 probe, which is you can see in detail here and the current through the, the high-tech uh, current sensor. We've zoomed in actually here at the start and this zoom is at the end. So you have two zoom windows, one in the beginning and one in the front, uh, in the end of the signal. We're only measuring the values between the cursors. So the cur one cursor is at the top peak value here, the voltage, and one is here at the peak value at the end. We're measuring the RMS of the uh, voltage, the current, and the power. And the power is a new option, it's a DSP. So it does these uh, calculations in real time. So when you're recording, you can see the real time uh, calibrated or the, the real time uh, power. Uh, and we can also do a power sweep or a power signal. We can look at that later. But this is and we have the power meter here as a reference. So the reference shows 236.45 volts, 640.51 milliamp in average over the same period of time, over 10 seconds. Uh, the P1, 125.46 watts in average power. And here we have 236.36 which is very very close the current a little bit off we have 638.76 here and we have 640 in the power meter and the calculated uh, power uh, 125.46 in the power meter and 124.23 here so which gives you around 1% or actually it's pretty close to 1% accuracy on power uh, the power meter, you can also have a free phase system with this. You can uh, measure power on uh, yeah, one module, two modules, three modules, and you can sum the power on the different phases to get the, the power of a free phase system. You can look at the behavior of the power. You can get the power sweep. You can integrate the power. You can set uh, real-time filters with this uh, very powerful DSP function. And you can also trigger it on the DSP result. So you can trigger it on the... Um, filtered values or on, you can trigger on the power value so it opens up a lot of possibilities and still you get accurate uh, power measurements um, especially if you're looking at faster switching signals or uh, fluctuating power or a startup power and things like that the scope quarter is a good tool for that thank you very much stay tuned for more information